Hello students. In the olden days, people wrote letters differently. When someone wanted to write a letter, he or she used a pen and paper. Then gradually people started using typewriters. However, in a typewriter, if a mistake was made, they would have to retype the entire document all over again. It was quite a tedious and time-consuming process. Today, word processors have changed the way we type a document. A word processor allows us to type and edit text in a word document and then print it. It is a fast and convenient way to type long documents. There are various word processors available. Let's look at some examples of word processors. MS Word, Open Office Writer, WordPerfect, WPS Word. Let's learn about the most popular word processor that is Microsoft Word or MS Word. First, let's understand how to open an MS Word document. Click on the start button, then click on all programs, then click on Microsoft Word. After opening a document, we can see the different components of the MS Word window. Let's take a look at them one by one. The first one is the file tab. This consists of file management commands like new, open, save, save as and so on. Then we have quick access toolbar. It consists of some common word commands such as save, undo, redo and so on. The ribbon is a white strip of commands. We can use the ribbon to make our document attractive and look different. Title bar. This contains the title of the document. The ruler is used to scale the document. The status bar displays the information about the current document such as the page number, word count and language. Next is the document area. The document is created in the document area. The view buttons are used to view document in various ways. Zoom control, it is used to zoom in and zoom out the document. The question mark icon opens the word help window, where you can ask your questions and you will get the help from word. Minimize, maximize, restore, close. These are the three small buttons found on the top right corner of the window. As the name suggests, the minimize button shrinks the window and is placed on the taskbar. Clicking on maximize will open the minimize document. Clicking on close will close the document. In case you have not saved the document, a dialog box to save the document will appear before closing the document. So we hope that you have understood all the components of Word. Let's create a document now. First click on the file tab. Then click on new, click on the blank document option in the new pane. A new document named document1 appears as shown. After we finish our work, we must always save the document with a proper file name. Saving the file with correct name helps in searching for the file in future when needed. So these are the steps to save the document. Click on the file tab, then click on the save option. Suppose if we wish to save a document in a different name or in a different location, then we can do so by using the save as option. We can enter the file name, select the file type and then save the file by clicking the save button. So that's it for this session. We hope you must have understood the different components of MS Word. Thank you.